this, and this is another case when you might want to move something to secondary, because again, it's going to show up here on the bottom, and sometimes it's difficult for kids to scroll. So I'm just going to move this. Tap up. And this this is something they added in Prolifer to go 2.0. If you see this blue line, that's where the page break is going to be. So you know if you're putting things where they have to scroll or if they don't have to scroll, which is helpful. Because that's a big issue for a lot of kids. So I just want to tap on this with the blue check and move this to secondary. So I'm going to sort of more. More. Music. And then in the, there's nothing in this folder right now, so it'll just go to blank. But that, that's why you can create different buttons once you're in the music folder and add whatever you think would go next to the music folder. And that's creating folders is helpful for customization if there's maybe a place that they go that only they would go. So that's very individualized and you can take pictures of places that they may go, like swimming pool or if they go to a day camp, things like that. So any any questions on creating folders? Or just creation in general. Okay, cool. Thanks. Um, I'm following you, I think. Um, but if you're doing this and, and you get stuck, is there an online help um, or a help button, or you just try to muddle through if you forget? There, there is a help button. Is it helpful? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here, in the uh, in the. Uh, and they actually have a support system. You can email them. If you click on this options tab, go to support. You can email the support, which is probably what I do, because they can easily help you online. Or you can email me, and I'll try to help you. And there are also a lot of videos online by Assistive where the makers of Bullet would go. So if you're having trouble, say, creating something, you can just type that into YouTube, and it'll probably come up with a video on how to do it. So I think there, there are a lot of resources. And there's also, on the Prolo Protico website, they have a list of, I think I'm on the list of certified trainers that you can call or email, and they can help you too. But I think generally, they charge like the other trainers. Any other questions? OK. So does everyone understand moving to primary, moving to secondary, that kind of thing, that that creates a new page that you can go to. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs>